Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. <clears throat> now decided to get started on that third row of solar panels. Um, Friday morning I drilled the holes in the ground. After a lot of futzing around, figuring out where they got to go. And after lunch I went and got some pressure treated wood. <clears throat> and by evening I had the posts in. They weren't level or square and all that stuff but they were in. <clears throat> and the next day I got the posts leveled, squared, the holes drilled for the pivot and the bracing all on. And the next day I built the frameworks. And today I made the uh, all the brackets and stuff for the uh, tilting parts, the angle iron parts. And we're just about ready to put some panels on. Thought maybe some of you might like to see it. And I don't know, <coughs> my arms aren't <laughs> long enough, but it tilts. You know, it balances. So. See if I can get some panels on her. Well, I got the first five all mounted. No problems, everything fit nice. Got just a little bit of space in between each one of them. So I'm going to get these other five mounted on. And I'll show you how easy it is to put them on. Okay, I got the first panel up here. I'm going to lean it up against the rack and I'm going to put these brackets on. You got a hole here which is going to go on the, the original hole in the uh, solar panel and this is the hole that's going to mount it to the wood. So, I'm just going to take Just going to be finger tight. That way they can kind of self center themselves. Okay, so that one's ready for the the uh, whoops. The mounting. So I'm going to take it over there on that end and put it on there and get it squared up.
that's all there is to it. Now I'll put the two brackets on the bottom side and then I'll put the four screws that go into the wood to hold it in place once I'm sure it's square. I'll take you around the back side and show you because previously there was some questions on how I did this. So that should make it pretty easy to understand. And these are the original holes on the panels. So I'll get this one secured and then it's just a matter of putting the other four on. Same, same process. And then once I get them all on there I can tighten everything up. Now, yep, got them all mounted. I got uh, two spots where I had an issue. Very easily remedied. When I put these brackets on, this one right here happens to be right where the other screw is that goes in here to hold it together. So I just got to go a hole down here a little ways so I can put a screw in this. And the opposite corner is the same way. Now on the other side, I didn't run into any of those, so it just happened to be. You know how it is. Okay, I've got all the braces off. It's balanced there. It moves so easily. I'll show you. I'm going to put it in the same position as the other one. that's all there is to it. I've got five different positions for between winter and summer. That one is about the middle right now for this time of year which is uh, beginning of September. So I got a lot of wiring and then I got to get a combiner box mounted and get the cables run up here to it. So that'll be the next thing. A couple days I got the uh, number four wire run all the way from the uh, controller up to here and got it all wired in and it's all working. Um, this morning I seen uh, 2.1 kilowatts coming out of her. Here on the back side and show you. It's not the neatest job in the world, but we might put a few more uh, ties or, or something on there to secure the wiring, but probably be okay. Got my grounds all in. This uh, this is a different. Uh, combiner box and ones I've used before because on these panels my controller is only good for a hundred and, and oh yeah hundred volts and the open circuit on these is 44 volts 44.8 this morning it was uh, running at 80 volts so I can only put uh, two in series so I had there's ten panels here so I have five sets this box was big enough that had extra space in it so I was able to put another fuse on for the plus and minus on each side so I got five five fuses and uh, this 
this box, the reviews were kind of mixed on it, but I thought I'm going to give it a shot. Um, the circuit breaker was over here, where the surge protector is. And they've got the wires coming in over here. And the other one was way over here. So, and I'm using number four, so it's kind of stiff. So I would have had to come in here and make a turn and come all the way over here. And this one would have been similar. So I traded places with these. And that put the one original one comes right in and goes right in. And then I just put a new hole here. So it comes up and there's just a slight, slight bend in it. And then I run into one other issue. The one of these uh, input MC4s was stretched so tight over to this fuse that it wouldn't make connection. Um, couldn't really see why, but I just drilled a new hole and put a new MC connector over here. Everything's fine now. So, other than that, the the parts inside seem to be quality. It's just the kind of the design and and the, the box. I'm not sure. Um, once you get it secure, you know, it seems good and sturdy, but it seemed a little little iffy if you don't have it fastened on something. It's wouldn't hurt. A box that large to be made out of a little bit heavier stuff. But she's all up and operating. So now that I got my new panels up here, I'm going to take my old panels off my garage roof because it's such a pain in the winter time to clean them off. And I'm going to put a fourth row right behind this one, right up there. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can get that done for bad weather. So we'll call this one a video and uh, hopefully some of you got some good out of it or enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.